Hi everybody, I'm Mr. C and welcome back to another DIY experiment. Today we are building an anemometer and a barometer. Anemometers and barometers are tools that weather people, like meteorologists, use to study the weather. A barometer measures the pressure of air and an anemometer measures the wind speed. For the first thing we're going to build, the anemometer, we only need a couple of things. We need a, a cup, uh, a push pin or a thumbtack, a pencil with an eraser, two straws, four cups, small little cups, a marker and some tape. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our straws and we're going to push a hole straight through the center. We're going to squeeze it up and then we're going to put that through the second straw as well, through the center of it. All right, I'm going to take a small piece of tape and I'm going to put it over the pointy part and push it right over, tape these in place. There we go. Now, well, it's not perfectly, <laughs> it's not the best looking. It looks like an X, but I wanted it to be like a cross, like a T, but it's a little off, but that's okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to um, place this on here to make sure it's working. And this is going to be the anemometer. So when the wind blows, this will spin and we'll be able to see it rotating. The next thing we have to do is we have to take these cups and tape them onto our straws. Push down. Push down. Push down. And flip it over and make sure they're all nice and taped on so nothing flies off. on to the top of that, put it into my cup, I put, put a little hole there, and now I can take it outside. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Now, you can take this outside and depending on how fast the wind is blowing, it's going to cause this to spin faster or slower. But because they're all white cups, it's really tricky to see which one is your starting one. So if you wanna kind of measure how many times it spins and say 60 seconds, you'll want to identify one of the cups. So I grabbed a blue marker, which is my favorite color, and I'm just going to just color this side really nice and blue so that when it's spinning, I can keep track of how many rotations there are based on the color. And let's see if you can see it up there on the camera. Whoa, super cool. It's working. I've gotta make some slight adjustments so that this doesn't pop out, but I think it's ready to go outside and test the wind. Now, I also wanna test air pressure, and that also is based on air. So air moving creates wind, air pressure creates pressure. So we need a couple of materials to build a barometer, and let me get those. All right, let's build our barometer. To build a barometer, we need a few different materials. We need a cup, a plastic cup, we need a balloon, a straw, a marker, some scissors, tape, and then I also have this, which is going to be where I measure the air pressure with, and we'll talk about that in a moment. To get started, what we do is we take one of our cups, we flip it right side up, and we take a balloon, and we carefully cut the neck off the balloon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this over this without trying to rip the balloon. Perfect. Now I have a question for you. Is there anything inside of that cup? Of course there is, there's air. That's exactly how this works. The air inside is going to help us measure the pressure out here. Now what we have to do is take a straw and we're going to tape it down just like this so it sits right in the middle of our balloon. Take a little piece of string, whoops, string, tape. Take a little piece of tape, tape it on there, perfect. Now, a barometer measures air pressure in a really cool way. Air is all around us, it's creating pressure. As the air pressure rises out here, the air inside here, well, it's trapped, it doesn't change. So as the air pressure changes out here, it increases and it pushes down on this rubber membrane, the balloon. And when it does that, it'll raise the straw up. When the air pressure outside drops, 
the air inside is still stuck inside. And when the air pressure out here drops, it's going to raise, it's gonna push up, which is going to cause the straw to bend down because the air in there is going to try to come out. It'll expand and push up and out. So how do we measure this? Well, I have a little box and I'm building it like this on purpose so I can have a portable barometer. I'm gonna slide it over here so I can see. And this box is always going to be the same height if I put it on the same table with my cup. So what I'm going to do here is right now, this is my starting point. So that's my starting point. So I'm just gonna write start right there. And I'm going to actually make a couple of marks going up. And I'm gonna make a couple of marks going down. Now, air pressure, when it's sunny and nice out, the pressure is usually high. It's my sun. And when the pressure is low outside, we typically have clouds. So we have two instruments. We have a barometer and an anemometer. And what I want you to do is I want you to place the barometer somewhere in your house and keep it there for a week and measure the pressure changes to see what's happening. Does the pressure go up or does it go down? And when you see the pressure changing on your barometer, take a look at your anemometer that's outside. Is it spinning more or less when the pressure is higher or the pressure is low? Or do you notice it's spinning when the pressure is changing? These are things that meteorologists or scientists like us do to learn more about the weather. Keep learning, keep exploring, keep having fun, and remember, science is wherever you are.